Oshun Oshobo Festival recently came to an end. The grand finale happened on 12th of August and some people are wondering why the government warned the devotees and the visitors not to drink from the river. Why has Oshun River changed color? Is it that the river goddess is angry? Every year around August, Oshobo Town hosts not less than 60,000 participants in the Oshun Oshobo Festival. It's all about celebrating the goddess of fertility and the festival renews the contract between humans and the divine whereby Oshun offers grace to the community in return. The ceremony is part of a rich indigenous Yoruba religious tradition. Oshun River is a sacred river and is a reserved area where death and other unlawful activities are not meant to take place. However, illegal miners in Oshun state have really spoiled the place. And who are these illegal miners? Most of them are Chinese and also the locals around. Without the locals, the foreigners will not be able to know where to go and how to go about this. According to government, that the river is polluted and that's the reason why they're asking people not to drink from it. So the Ministry of Health had advised the visitors and devotees not to drink from the river. But the people, they believe that the goddess of the river has some powers, divine powers, to heal and treat illness and also to provide burying women with children. A lot of people who came for the festival also drank from the river. So from the pictures and videos captured during the event, a lot of devotees and visitors who came for the festival were seen drinking from the river, also collected some in the bottle in their cans because they believe that when you bathe with the water, it has some healing effects and also makes some people to be prosperous. The river is named after Oshun, one of the river goddesses in Yoruba land, noted for providing the needs of the people, including giving babies to the barren women. The annual traditional worship of Oshun Shrine near Oshun River at Oshobo has become popular pilgrimage and important tourist attraction after an Austrian Susan Wenger, also known as Aduni Olorisha, partnered with local artists in Oshobo to redevelop and redecorate the Oshun Oshobo sacred groove with sculptures and carvings depicting the various activities of the Orishas. Susan Wenger was born in Austria on 4 July 1915. She studied arts in Austria and Vienna. She eventually got married to a German linguist, Uli Beyer, who brought her to Nigeria. Uli was offered position of phonetician in Ibadan, and she moved with him to Nigeria in 1949. They first arrived in Ibadan, at the nearby town of Ede in 1950, in order to escape the artificial university compound. In Ede, she met one of the last priests of the rapidly disappearing ancestral-based Olorisha religion. Even though she did not speak Yoruba language at that time, she was engrossed in the priest's life and rituals. During that period, she and Bully Bay mentored a group of local artists that later became the new sacred art movement. They created many of the giant sculptural works and art that beautify the sacred Oshun groove. Susan Wenger and Bully Bay eventually separated. She remarried in Oshobo to continue her work. In 1959, she married a local drummer, Chief Alarakwe. She adopted more than dozens of Yoruba children. Susan Wenger was the goddess of Oshun Shrine, a devoted high priest. She adopted a Yoruba name, Aduni Olorisha. She helped to preserve the sacred groove of Oshun, which is located along the banks of the Oshun River, outside Oshobo, which turned into a sculpture garden filled with arts made by her and other local artists. She contributed to the listing of Oshun Groove in the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO's World Heritage List in 2005. And Oshun Groove became UNESCO. World Heritage Site and this is the reason why you see lots of people troop in there for Oshun Oshobo Festival from different parts of the world including the diasporans. It's a big festival. The President of Republic of Nigeria then President Umaru Musaya Radua honored her with national award. As a member of the Order of the Federal Republic, she was initiated into court of Obatala, Sopona and Oboni and was given the title Aduni Olorisha. She became the guardian of the sacred groove of Oshun Goddess of the Oshobo community by their king. Atoja of Oshobo. She died after an illness on January 12, 2009 at age of 93 and she was buried in an unmarked grave according to Oshobo rites and customs. Before she passed, she left instructions that no tomb must be built for her as she did not want her tomb to become a tourist attraction for tourists. There has been lots of threat to Oshun River and even the groove itself including the land grabbing. People are encroaching into the site but Oshun River 
river, loss of pollution due to waste disposal and also illegal miners that flaunt environmental laws, which has made the river to become very toxic. It's illegal mining that is happening in Oshun State, in some of the areas where they have gold, most especially at the upper coast of the river, is polluting the river. And that was the reason why the government, Nigerian government, gave a warning to the visitors and the devotees not to drink from the river. The river right now contains heavy metals like mercury, lead, cyanide and other injurious elements, which is very detrimental to human life and is also a problem in the public health. In 2018, the river suddenly began to change color. An investigation revealed that illegal and unregulated licensed gold mining activities at the upper course of the river led to this. Illegal miners had polluted Ocean River with poisonous metals, thereby making it unsafe for human consumption and farming activities. No protections for farmers against ravaging miners. There are agents of Chinese miners and they take them around in search of land to explore for solid mirrors. If you can remember, in 2021, 27 people were arrested, 17 were Chinese, and 10 were the locals who were mining gold illegally in Ocean State. It has affected the community so much that one of the community members said, these are part of the things they are saying, that the noise pollution is terrible because someone can't sleep for months. It affects them. Besides, you can't even sleep with two eyes closed because you don't know the extent they will dig. If you look now, they are close to my backyard and that is why I always check their activities every minute. And another person said, look at the water they have polluted. When I use the water for my crops, none of the crops grow to be good or edible. Then another person, the future of this area frightens him. All the cocoa that they rely on have been uprooted. What is the future of the farmer's children? As they know in the village, as a tradition in the village, farming is their means of livelihood. It is a transgenerational trade whereby many farmers inherited those cocoa farms from their fathers. Government stated that those arrested were prosecuted and made to pay compensation, but they are saying that till now, nobody has been prosecuted and no compensation has been made. Despite the area having lots of solid mineral resources, the area is being exploited and at the end of the day, leaving the community to be very poor, poverty stricken. The heritage of the state is being damaged because this Oshun Oshobo festival is a very big heritage site in Oshun state and a lot of people patronize it, a lot of people come from far and wide to participate in the ceremony, to involve in the festival. So let me know what you guys think about this. Is there no way that these illegal miners can be stopped? Is there no ways that these corrupt traditional chief chiefs can be replaced with people who are hardworking, who will be able to monitor the activities of these illegal miners in their community and in the state also put measures in place to prevent them from mining illegally in those areas because it's affecting the community it's affecting the life of people on long run is going to be a very big public health problem so let me know what you guys think i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed